So I cut just there because I had to tell Michelle something that I knew she didn't know yet. We got kind of bigger problems. And can you trust that you won't blow away in the wind? The little Robin Redbreast. It feels almost as if he's been following us. It's a different one, but they're beautiful, aren't they? Lovely little birds. All puffed up though, like it's winter time, which it might as well be. It's a bit chilly. You look at this. I don't know if you can pick that out. But there's a, a fireplace and chimney. So, at some point, there may have been a little crofter's cottage or something here. And that's the only bit that seems to remain. That little sort of brick fireplace and, and chimney. This would have been all the inside of the house here. Now there's a tree stump in the center. And just here, I'm not sure if that's just where people have been walking down to it. There's a sort of like a little pathway. It's pretty steep. I'm not sure I, I'm not sure I want to go down there in this wet. How cool is that? This may have been their little front garden. What a history, what a story behind. On the railway line. <laughs> Maybe it was a railway cottage, yeah, a little railway cottage. Maybe a station. Maybe. Could have been a station here. Look behind you, yeah. Wow, look at this. <laughs> looking the other way. Oh, I just didn't even turn around because I was looking at this, but look at this. Man, this is the most amazing moss formation. On all these stones and clods and tree stumps. That is amazing. It's remarkable. Beautiful scenery around the locks. Now what's this here? Toilets, composting toilets, Michelle. Composting toilets. Well, they actually, they look to be open. Oh, perfect, look. Complete working, albeit a little bit smelly. Composting toilets. And there's toilet roll in there. And everything. That's interesting. And here, it's almost a perfect camping spot. It's a little early for us, but under those trees over there, could be a nice place to stop and have a spot of lunch, maybe. Might be hard to leave, depending on how, how many miles we've got yet to do. Might be hard to leave. Spot like this. Composting toilets. Shade, shelter, flat ground. Fire pits, seats. This is more like it. Things have really picked up since we we got down on the lowlands. It's a bit boggy. But it's pretty dry and pretty flat up here. We're going to stop for a little while, have some uh, some lunch. Now I'm not sure. This is a, a really beautiful pitch. Looking over Loch Oik, and you don't often see pictures as, as nice as this. 
and we're under the trees oak trees here so we'll be protected a little bit but there's still nearly eight or nine kilometers to Lagen Lock which is where we want to be in the morning to have showers and things so I'm going to suggest to Michelle she's just gone to check out the uh, composting toilets over there I'm going to suggest that we probably walk on and don't stop here I think we can probably do at least another maybe five six seven kilometers before we stop this evening and uh, there's been a few decent spots so I think there'll be more I hope so and off we go again <laughs> <laughs> Michelle agrees we've just had a little uh, pasty and uh, Michelle agrees that we should get on. I just feel like this is a great spot, it really is, but the weather's awful still. So who wants to be camped down so early in the day? And we can probably do at least, oh, we could easily do another seven or eight kilometers um, without any you know, breaking a sweat really. So we are gonna walk on and try and pass the whole length of Loch Oki, Oki or Oiki and uh, goodbye campsite thanks for having us even if it was only for five minutes now you can see michelle's bum under the poncho because it's covering the pack it rides up at the back quite a lot but it doesn't matter because, you know, having a sort of great big shelf at the back there that's covered by the poncho keeps it dry anyway. The only thing we are finding, you know, is the, the water off the front of the poncho. It falls onto my trousers. So it does drip down onto the, the bottom of your trousers, but you know you can't have everything and we have got these columbia trousers which have been great and terrible at the same time that's another story um we should talk about those at some point these zip off trousers have been great they dry off they dry really quickly. really quickly yeah. um the only problem is with mine particularly every single pair of them and i have three pairs i've actually had four or five pairs over this year um they've all the, the pockets keep coming undone um, back pockets side pockets and big undone like they're, they're really poorly stitched together so you can lose things out of the pockets which is really disconcerting when you think about what they're there for you know to look after your phone and your wallet and your expensive stuff they, the stitching just keeps coming undone they're really badly made in that respect and I might do a whole video about that at some point because they're expensive trousers they really shouldn't do that I think this is probably part of the railway line again it may have been part of a tunnel possibly although it's leaning back so maybe just an embankment these lovely old red bricks these are they look to be all hand cut bricks. I love those old bricks, you know. And they look pretty solid as well. And here they're all covered in moss and lichen. These old sleepers, I'm not sure if they're they're laying them here. Invergarry. I'm not sure if they're laying sleepers or well, these are old ones they're taking up. So this answers my question, they're actually laying new track along here. So I don't know if this will be a functional railway, you can see it's a wider gauge than the old railway would have been that went through here. Invergarry Station. So it's a train, but a train to nowhere I think. Hard day's walk today, really hard. So we've rocked up, there's a bunch of canoers here, but not very friendly. They're all sat over there. What a 
I don't know what to say really. We are in a shed by the lock. Kindly the lock keepers let us stay in. And um, it has rained now. How long has it rained for Michelle? Nearly a full day? Oh, over a full day. Over a full day. It's just rained and rained and rained and we are absolutely drenched. Everything's wet. Inside the tent's dry. The tent inside has stayed dry and we, we were dry in bed last night. So we, were, we slept okay. But the, the rain drops all through the night. Um, the rain on the, on the, the tent was, was actually not soothing at all. It was, it was quite... Uh... So I cut just there because I had to tell Michelle something that I knew she didn't know yet. We got kind of bigger problems. The, the road to Fort William and Fort Augustus are blocked both ways because of um, flooding, because the rain has been so heavy. It's Sunday, so all the small facilities and shops that are near to us are all closed. Um, there might be a service station. Um, yeah, but we've got the brew on. We're gonna have a coffee. At least uh, we're out of the rain for a little while. But uh, our, our thoughts at the moment are to stay here. Stay here today. We've got food for today. And it's supposed to be much better tomorrow, so you know, we'll just see how it ha what happens tomorrow. When she says much better, it's not. It's not raining. Not raining. But um, yeah, we're limited. It's hard, you know. Um, we thought the warp was going to be the problem. What, what's what's uh, what's hammering us here is the weather in Scotland. Forget the walk. I think we could walk two thousand miles, but um, the uh, let me just turn that off. Also, I keep using up my gas, and we're getting low on gas. We're getting low on everything. We're getting low on everything. And uh, the lock keeper's nice, but this is not really giving us any solutions. We, we, he can't give us any solutions, really. He's a, he's a million, you know, he's not a million miles, but he's many miles from anything. And, um, and the roads are blocked. <laughs> at least he's let us come and sit in his shed, which is nice. Just gets us out of the rain, maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Some of our stuff might dry a little bit. Is this walk going to go ahead? Yes. <laughs> I hope so. I do hope so. I hope the weather doesn't beat us, not the walk. Shall I try to be creative with drying our stuff because everything is so wet. Um, these are Michelle's trouser bottoms and they are drenched. We've actually wrung them out, but they're still drenched. Um, we just contacted our family. We've got enough juice in the in um, my phone to contact the family, let them know where we are, and everything's fine. And we're no, we're doing okay. Um, but uh, I think the call today is going to have to be: we can't go anywhere. Uh, it's going to be really hard. I mean, the sheets of rain coming down at the moment. I'll just show you out here. I don't know if you can see the bands of rain. I don't know if the, the camera will pick it up. We're on the we're on the sheltered side on this wall. But um, it, it's going to be near impossible to pack up our tent in that sort of driving rain. So with the permission, if the lock keeper will allow us to stay in this shed for some hours, we'll try and get things a little drier and just hope the weather breaks. Um, we've got a little food. If we can get through today, the weather picks up tomorrow. You know, 
It's the weather that's doing us, not the walking. No, walking's fine. But we're going to do this. We actually, this makes me actually more determined in many ways. I think it does Michelle also to say, sod it, we are doing this walk. And, um, uh, you know, we just needs must. So this is where we've, um, where we've been staying in this, uh, little shed here and these guys are just doing it for fun so I'm on a mission see if I can get some food from somewhere it might be a, a little uh, hostel I think it is that might have food facilities so I'm heading down See if I can find it. Now all the boats today, all these boats also can't go through the lock. The lock is closed for business because of the bad weather. So um, yeah, not good news for anybody. We're back out. Back out on the road. Oh, I'm not happy. This is just too hard work. This is for food. We need food more than I need to be dry. So 